What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Super Mario Galaxy modding tutorial. And today we're going to show you how to edit textures on models, pre-existing models at least, in Super Mario Galaxy 1 or 2. Um, I've done this a couple times before with like Mario and stuff etc. So this tutorial will work like if you're trying to edit Mario's textures, like textures of a planet or just what I'm going to be doing today, the textures of a power star. So yeah, let's get into this. The thing I will not be showing you how to do is how to load the model. I'm just going to test my model like myself. It's just how to edit the model. So uh, you want to extract your model from the game, whatever you're going to use. So I extracted my PowerStar.arc to this music because there's nothing here. Um, and then you want to get something called SNG Arc Tools. It will be linked in the description as well as the other programs you're going to need in this tutorial. Uh, so what you want to do is drag the PowerStar.arc into the Yazero decoder. You'll then get a RARC file and you want to drag this into RARC dump. And if you open this, you'll have like a bunch of files here. Sometimes you won't have a bunch of files because the model you, you chose doesn't come with a bunch of files. But this one does, it has lots of animation, so of course it does. So what you want to do here is just create a new folder temporarily, name it test, and then drag your BDL file, so PowerStar BDL, into the test folder. Now once you've done that, you want to get another program linked in the description called SuperBMD. Basically, you can extract the textures with this and the model content and stuff, etc. So, just drag this into Super BMD. And you'll get a bunch of images as well as other files. You just need to worry about the images. Or at least, probably one of the images in this case. Now, you're, you're pretty much done with that for now. Um, so, right here I have a texture that I've created. But I'm going to show you how you'd open your own texture. So you'd basically go here and go back to the test folder and then select the texture you want to edit. But right here I already have a texture. If you're wondering how to change the colour, um, just hue saturation and see you can change the colour. Just easy. But I'm doing this purple colour for the sake of this tutorial. Now what you want to do is save this. And then you want to close out your program. Now you want to open Wexus's toolbox. And if you get this, I usually say no because if I say yes, the program likes to just crash for some reason. So um, when you have this open, what you want to do is go to File, New from File, and then BTI. Now, let's go back to where we left our texture in the test folder. Now, let's open that. Now, when you get this little tab here, I usually like to select RGBA8. But for some textures, there will be exceptions for which one you can choose. But uh, most of the time, I choose this one. Now, once you have that, you just want to save as. And then just type anything here so I'm gonna type purple star texture press ok and you can close this now quick note if you're doing multiple textures then make sure you close this before you do the other one just just to be on the safe side because having to open could probably confuse the two and we, we don't want that now you want to get another program called J3D View, which will also be linked in the description. So guys, we finally have J3D View open. I don't know why it took that long to open, but it did. So what you want to do is open your model, which is located in this folder from earlier. We left this in tests. And then this is your model. You might be like, that doesn't look like a golden star. Well, that's just how it looks in the model viewer. It won't look like that in game, so don't worry. 
Now we have our textures here. So um, the one we were replacing, so there's like a bronze, green and red texture in the game. There's some duplicates, you have to replace both I believe. So you can right click and click replace. And then you want to get the BTI file that you saved via Wexus's toolbox. And then um, you want to rename this to Powerstar.0 because that was the original name of that texture. And yeah, you're pretty much done. All you need to do is save the model. You could save it as if you want, but I just need to save. And now you can drag your BDL file back out here. You can get rid of the test folder. And now you want to go all the way back out where you started. Go to SMG Arc Tools once again. Now drag the folder here. The folder, not any of these. Drag the folder into Rark Pack. And then you can get a file, an Arc file. You can delete all the other ones once you're finished. Which I'm going to do now. Now rename this to the original mm, arc name, which in this case is powerstar.arc. I cannot type. Powerstar.arc. And you're pretty much finished. Um, so we're going to go test this in game and yeah, let's see how things go. Okay guys, so here we are on the menu and we're just going to test our mod now with revolution okay guys we are at starship mario and now we're going to head into a level and just see how the power stars are working out here so l let's just hop into uh i don't know flip swap galaxy because everyone uses flip swap galaxy And as you can see, we now have purple power stars in Super Mario Galaxy 2. They look a bit more pink than purple, but it still turned out pretty nice looking. Even though it's just a recolor of the original texture. And yeah, that's how you get custom textures in Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. It works for both games. Um, if you liked this tutorial, make sure you leave a like and... Subscribe, I guess I recently got 2000 and I am so grateful. Thanks guys. Like I Didn't even think I'd reach that until like July or something, but it happened a lot quicker than I ex expected and it's, it's truly a big huge milestone for me but if you want more tutorials like this just let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one Goodbye